its first end here, yep. and uh, how, how are the plans coming along for season two as far as the writing goes? It's, it's great. We've actually been discussing season two the last few weeks, yeah. Um, yeah. and yeah. came up with some really, really cool, like, really interesting well, stuff. It's, yeah. it's difficult because right now I, we really want to talk to you about how our season one ends and we can't. No. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> but I know. Right. Well, the thing is, it's like, you know, at this point they know that, you know, there's a, uh, there's this huge device that the um, agents are building called the SUVAC and it's, you know, a little ambiguous e exactly. They know it's going to bring destruction, they just don't know the extent of which. Mm -hmm. And in the finale where you find out, you know, um, you know, there's like a big thing at the end oh. where it's, you know, it's sort of unexpected and, yeah. you know, for the science fan, science fan, uh, the sci-fi fans, I think, you, you know, you'll want to definitely like hang on to like the very last scene of the show, nice. which we just loved and blew our minds, but it was a thing of like, then how do you pick up and open up the next season, you know, mm -hmm. and what does that mean? Right. And, you know, especially because, you know, uh, we're going down a path that, you know, many sci-fi shows have gone down when you're dealing with like, you know, two races, like trying to get along, mm -hmm. um, you know, that what are the fun ways you can explore that, what makes it more, expl you know, what makes it more explosive, do you just go down, to, you know, the path of like, it's um, antagonistic, it's war, or do you like, you know, get under the skin of it, you know, right. and get like, that juiciness that you want to see, you know, every week. So, yeah, the beginning of the next season, we've got like some fun stuff planned, um, you know, but again, it's like, um, it's sort What's of all hinges nice about doing the 13 is that we like, we just go yeah. balls to the wall, we just like, like yeah. anything that we were planning to do later, we just pulled up. Nice. And so there's so much plot in every episode mm -hmm. because of that. Like there's no room for, oh, those episodes yeah. that you watch and sometimes the 22 episode season that are like, right. oh, you're kind of treading water a little. Like none of our episodes do that. So Right, yeah, everything's pretty fast paced right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Did you adjust the pace as we were going to try and make it an exciting first season to try and grab and hold your audience? Not really. I think from the from the very beginning when we met last year, um, when we talked about like what the tent poles were of the season and where we were driving to, they stayed the same throughout. Like we we knew that we yeah. were gonna that like we knew that Roman and Emery were gonna have that underwater kiss in episode seven. Um, so there were certain things that we knew that we were gonna have to drive to, and so we didn't. I don't think we did do it. We did adjust. No, and also I mean the thing with Meredith and I too. Like you know we're also like of course like massive TV fans before we were writers and a big part of it is like the our pet peeve is like a show that has a mythology that doesn't have an answer to where it's heading out in that season and we did not we we're yeah. not those people and no. we you know we didn't want to be like it's gonna be exciting and we don't have an answer for it. You know, we, we plotted it like we knew like how their culture you know the Adrian culture and the technology and all of it was just sort of come to a head and you know we set that on yeah. pretty early and then sort of built towards it. So and I think yeah like Meredith said the template you know stayed the same. So we're we're excited about that. Yeah. And are there any plans I mean, as of right now, as far as I can tell, you guys haven't co-written in episode. We co-wrote the finale. Okay. We were both in New Orleans for it. Yeah. So fun. I will, it, it's Mardi The finale is Mardi Gras. So, yeah. Okay. And um, do, are you guys happy in season two to do more co-writing together? Yeah. Um, I think I like yeah. it. I think I thought it was a good process. I think so. <laughs> I, and there's a lot of, like, in and out, like, every day. It's like co-living. Yeah. You know, she's <laughs> next co door. She, you know, you're in each other's business all the time. Like, yeah. I spent more time with her than I do with my husband or we children. We know a lot so. of intimate details about one another. But, too much. Uh, it's yeah, too much too sharing. Much. Stripper poles. Eh? <laughs> Stripper poles. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're writing great. How is it filming in Louisiana? Do you do just... It was amazing. Is it, does it really inspire what you're writing being... Um, I, I think so, and I think, it, you know, especially after I'd been there, because I'd never been in, um, I'd never been in New Orleans before this, and the two things that strike you immediately, first of all, is the culture of the people, you know, in, in terms of, like, they like, like to party, but not in a crazy Vegas way, it's like family-oriented, but they like to have a good time, but the other thing, which we've used for our show, which you'll see, in, you know, we first saw more of in episode seven, is, like, the swamps, you know, and there's something about um, the, you know, the terrain that sort of matched with the culture of the Adrian and their home planet that, you know, they were water-based and so, like, it sort of lent itself, you know, to storytelling and you get all this, like, free production value on top of it. So, it was, it was great. And excellent food. Excellent craft service. We had crawfish on our first day. Oh, uh, wow. Crawfish boil. Crawfish I'm going to steal them for the red carpet right. after their question unless they finished it. Oh, you finished it. Yeah. All right, perfect. <laughs> we have cast coming to you guys soon. I'm going to cool. take you guys to the car.